Hello, class of Math 103. I got a couple emails on the how to uh, do the summary of data in our studio. So I thought maybe we'll create a video and go. We'll go over module seven uh, lab, the discussion one. So first thing is we're gonna download the data into our computer, upload it into cloud, and then uh, import it into our studio. So I click here, and uh, my file is gonna pop up down here. I right click. And I see the file is in download, so I double check it. I found it where it is. Now I go to R Studio. I have already logged in, so I'm gonna import, upload the file into cloud first. So click here, file. We go upload. Uh, so I bring the drinking, and we upload it into R, um, into the cloud, R Studio cloud. The file is right here. Now I'm gonna import that file from the cloud into our studio so drinking double click double check you see some of the data are missing so let's keep that in mind that's important so we double check we're good all right so let's say we want to create a part of this activity we're going to create a graph of this data so because it's numerical data, we're gonna create histogram. So if I just type hist and name the file. So drinking, within drinking, the variable we're looking at is the level of alcohol. If I run this, I get an error message. It says X must be numeric. And the reason for this message is because there are some missing data in our file. So what we need to do is look at the handouts that you have in your module, where it says how to deal with missing numbers, you see right here. You download it, you open it up, and you notice it says to deal with it, first you have to say that, hey, treat this as a numeric, and then make sure all the NAs are omitted. They are deleted and they're not taken, they're not taken into consideration. So to do that, we're gonna use this function, which I use the drinking example to create it. So I very much copy, right click, and bring it here. Uh, so everything matches, so let me run this. And now I got a histogram where this histogram is definitely skewed to the right. So it goes up, then gradually goes down. And we even have, you see this last one, we even have an outlier in uh, this data distribution. So this is the histogram. Now, because it's skewed uh, to describe the center of it and, and the variability, we use median and interquartile range. However, I will show you how to download, how to calculate the other summaries also. So let's keep in mind, you're gonna use this command right here within the parentheses. Uh, so we don't, uh, any missing data doesn't give us any hard time. All right, we're gonna do the summary first. So the summary command uh, very much gives you, so let me copy paste that piece. And uh, it gives you the minimum, first quadrant, median, mean, third quadrant, and maximum. This message basically says that, hey, you deleted the uh, NA or the empty, the, the missing data. So be aware that those have been delet uh, deleted, which is exactly what we want. So you see here, you have the minimum. You have the first quad uh, quadrant, Q1. You have the median, which is the second uh, uh, quartile, um, or the half point. Mean, which is the average, 4.539, third quartile, and the maximum value. This message is because we deleted DNA, as I mentioned. However, you're looking at this summary and you're wondering by yourself, hey, how come the standard deviation is missing? So we need to calculate that. So if we type SD, uh, put the parentheses and very much copy paste what we had, we get the standard deviation, which is 6.915938. And it's quite interesting. When I mean, look at the average and the median, look at the median. Median is one, which is right here. So right here is the point that is the half uh, point in this data, so 50%, 50%. Look at the mean, 4.53, because it's skewed to the right, it's go up, then it comes down that way, the mean has been pulled that way. So the average is 4.53, which is roughly here. Uh, Q1 to Q3 is seven, so within that uh, seven level of alcohol, we have more than uh, 50% uh, of the uh, data. And that's another deviation, which you have it here, 6.915, and that kind of shows how it spreads, 
how I skewed the data is. So we were expecting a high variability um, in this example. Uh, that very much gives you all the thing you need. Uh, let's say you'd never want to calculate the interquartile range. You also have the function interquartile range. Uh, so if you type IQR, it, uh, problem, uh, it um, capitalize it, you copy paste the command and you have your interquartile range. All right, so this is for the summary function. Hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions.